What's up guys? Tobin Reed here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. We are about to run over to the park and get some practice in for Reed. But first, we gotta feed our worms. Our uh, worm farm is doing good. On a few videos back, we put some uh, strawberries in there and they've eaten all of them. So mm -hmm. we're gonna throw some into these. These are bell peppers. Reed asked if they like spicy food. So they're from Texas, the worms are, so. They probably like Mexican food. Yeah, probably we'll do. See. We'll see. We're gonna throw them in there and see if they eat them. I'm gonna drop one of these in there. You gonna eat it? With your fish. Did you tell them on the recent video that on when you put the fish in there, we had to build this screen? No. But well, you told them the fish jumped out. I saw that. I know that. Three. So yeah. So we had to build this little screen to keep the fish from jumping out. They'll hit the side and then shoot up out of there. So. All right, let's feed them. We don't like them. You know, um, what's a new reality? Grab that plate for me, buddy, and you can help him. Just lay them right on top. We don't have to bury them at all or anything. Just lay them up there on top. Reed always wants to pull them out. My eyes are gonna burn. That's what I, that's what I do. It's a problem touching. They're very much alive. Ow! We bought these bell peppers to make fajitas with, then we, and we never used them, babe. No, we didn't use them. We, we had extra. Yeah. Bon appetit. Now let's check if we got any worm juice. I need to go get that. So babe, tell them about, tell them about Reed's situation. Um, so we have found a team through an organization that is, I'm not sure if it's nationwide, yeah, it's nationwide. is it? Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah. a nationwide team. We, some friends of ours and us, kind of got a core group of boys together and have formed a team. So we still need about two or three more boys. So they're in the process of holding tryouts for that, those positions. And then hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll start practicing regularly. They've had one tryout and one workout. And yeah, like Shannon was saying, we're a few, still a few kids short. We had what, seven, eight yeah. there, seven? I Pretty mean, much all of them read no, so. Probably well, ideally, you want 12 or 13. You wanna go in right here, Reed, or you wanna go to the other side? But, anyways, the first practice we found some drills. Yeah. Watched some drills, I don't know. But, so we're at our local city park and we're going to run through some drills with Reed. Let's go. Y'all like Shannon's new shades? I was a, a sucker for Facebook marketing. It worked too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was a sucker for it. Well, sometimes when you order off Facebook, it takes like three and a half months to get the stuff, but yeah. it came the next week. Yeah. They're, they're, this is what they're, they're shady rays. Maybe they'll sponsor us. Maybe. We'll send us another pair. I like yep. them. Yeah, everybody else likes them too. Mm -hmm. All them stretches. And squats.
Where'd you find it? It was sitting on the ground, and uh, favorite brand of cars, Cummins. Yeah. One of my favorite engines that, that ever exists. Yeah. And uh, it's a Ford, but it's still good. <laughs> it doesn't have Ford engines, but it's sponsored by Ford, right? Yeah. Look at that. Is that where? It, where does it say it's sponsored by? It's Ford. Look. It, every car that has oh a like Ford Taurus. Oh, it says a Ford emblem on it. I got it. So any car that has Ford on it, guys, it doesn't mean on a race car. I'm only talking about race cars. Any race car that has a Ford logo on it, it doesn't mean that it's a Ford. It has a Ford engine in it. It's sponsored by Ford. You probably never knew that. <laughs> and I'm a professional at cleaning toy cars. You so. are? He is a professional at it. That's... Literally, I clean a lot of car, my toy cars. So, yeah. I get to work on this thing. Wait, when I go... I'm gonna go by, which is the next thing. Okay. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. Do it. Yeah. That was good. So can I keep this thing? Oh yeah. Pretty beaten. Finders up. keepers. Mm -hmm. Finders keepers. These are sweepers. <laughs> All I need is the truck that used to go with it, the 18 wheeler. Comes with, usually, they have them online. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. You're going to buy it? You have money, don't you? I have like $100. <laughs> no offense. I'm rich. You're rich. Totally. $100. Mm -hmm. Makes you rich. The only thing I hate about race cars is no offense to race cars. This is actually on a real race car. Everything on this is on a real race car. That thing right there drags on the ground when you start to, um, Ready? if you're to ever, or like, kind of lifting up with the things, if you flip, that's going to drag on the ground. That's $100 worth of work. Yeah. It's not a dirt track person, but it could be. Look, if you look over here. A dirt track right here. Yeah, that's perfect. You might need to do them better. Hey.
Mm-hmm. And you are right. Oh lost a run. Alright, I'm gonna do my best. Did you pour that feed in there right there? They are so wasteful. Did you know that you got the crumbles? Yeah, no, not till I would get home. <laughs> I cleaned it. That one's cheating. Yeah. One week, babe. Mm -hmm. He's so big. Shut that. There's a baby in this one. Okay, so our mama Silky has been laying on eggs. And I think, yep, there's a baby in it. 
There's a baby in this one. Okay, we gotta go put it back. See it moving? This isn't the best flashlight. See it moving? So the one of the two. She had three in there. Okay, we gotta go put it back. She needs to finish it. That's exciting. It's exciting, isn't it? How long has it been in there for? I don't know. She just, I don't know when, I don't remember when she started laying. I just kind of left her alone. That would be so exciting. <laughs> it's closed. I would think in the next week. So, that mama, Silky, she went broody again. Two weeks after she stopped going broody, she went broody again. And then she's been laying on three eggs, and I didn't know how long they'd been in there. So I just kind of let her do her thing. Two of them were no good. But this third one has a baby in it, so I'm going to go put them back in there for her. That wine dot's over there reaching through the fence drinking the water. Yeah, she does that. So that's why I fill them up. Skyler, no. Are you excited? Very. <laughs> So guys, on several videos lately, I've shown Skylar doing what she's doing right now, which is uh, sniffing around this little ramp that we built for our garden shed to be able to get our four wheelers and lawnmowers in there and stuff. And a lot of people have said in the comments, we need to pull that that ramp up and let her and let Skylar see what's underneath there. And I'm not going to do that. And here's why: about a year ago, she dug up all around this ramp and was convinced there was something underneath there and actually broke the ramp it fell down because it was so unlevel and i had to had to fix the ramp and then attach it back to the building and do a bunch of work and she's a very very smart dog but she also has a very very strong nose she's a blue lacy if you don't know what a blue lacy is they're the state dog at texas they're part hound dog they were mixed with hound dogs greyhounds coyotes and a few other dogs to make the ultimate uh, blood trailing dog, cattle dog. Uh, they're just all around working dogs. They're great dogs, awesome dogs, but their noses are so unbelievably strong. And at one time, and they're also very, very stubborn. And at one time there was something underneath this ramp, I have no doubt, but she can smell something that's came through here a long time ago. And then she also doesn't ever forget that there was something underneath there. So what we would do is that I'd end up pulling that whole ramp up and there's a 99% chance there's nothing underneath there and it would be all for nothing. So I think I told the story before I had a big wood pile up by my shop and she was convinced there was something underneath there and there probably was at one time but it moved on and she spent the entire day at that wood pile convinced there was something in there and I ended up moving the entire wood pile and there was nothing underneath there. So, um, so that's why I'm not going to do it. Now, let me turn the camera around and show you. She's still just sitting here. Well, she also goes to the trash cans every morning because there was a cat in our trash can yeah. about a year and a half ago. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, a year and a half, maybe even more yeah. uh, back, we, we had a cat get in our trash can. And Skylar and I actually went out, I went outside with Skylar to throw some trash away at night, and it was after dark. And when I opened the lid, the cat jumped out and scared me to death. And Skylar took off chasing it, and every morning when we let her out that side door, the first thing she does is go to those trash cans and sniff around them to see if there's been a cat in there. And sometimes cats will still get in there, but uh, but yeah, so that's why I'm not going to lift it up. If I, if I spent my day going around 
um, helping her investigate all the things she where she thinks there's critters at. It'd be my entire day. She's still over there right now. Look at her. I wish you could see her lip. She's like, her yeah. lip's like. So make no mistake, guys, she's not dumb. She's just probably, I've owned some pretty smart dogs. I've owned Red Healers, Border Collies, Labs, and she's, if she's not the smartest dog I've ever owned, she's really, really close. Very, very intelligent and ha will not forget. If she, if she encounters something someplace, she will remember it forever. So It's hard to break her focus too. Yes, very, very hard. She gets hyper focused and you cannot get her to break yeah. it. Yep. And she'll stay there for, for hours. But we just kind of ignore her now. We know. <laughs> and there's there's times uh, if there really was something there, there's one thing that she will do mm -hmm. if there is something there, she'll bark. If she starts barking, we know. We know that there's something there live right now. Because last night or no, was it yesterday at the front porch we let her out and there was something under the front porch that she barked at and I have no doubt there was. And then if you go way back on our channel, we found snakes in that building in that garden shed right there a few times. Yeah. And and most of the time she would alert us by going back there and barking at it. And when we know she, when she's barking, we know it's, it's almost like a it's like a hound dog kind of like a bay like when they bay something it's very it's very it's not the same but it's a very similar bark to that like she's baying something like she's caught it. So So why is your back to me? Because I was here first. So a lot of our YouTube friends, Walkers, Adler, Hidden Heights, they have livestock guardian dogs. Yeah. So Skylar is as close as we're gonna get to a livestock guardian dog. Although she doesn't stay out here with us or out here with animals all night, she definitely uh, will alert us when there's something going on. There's been times we, she's been in the house and she'll she'll go from window to window in the house mm -hmm. and look out we'll leave them cracked where she can see out and she'll go out there and she'll see a dog across the pasture in our neighbor's pasture and just go crazy crazy is not the word yeah psychotic <laughs> i yeah. mean like like full on she has a very high pitched yeah. voice arr, arr, yes arr, arr. it's like she a bay yeah. circles in the living yeah. room it sounds exact or to me it sounds a lot like a hound dog when it's trailing something before yeah. it's, they've got it treed <laughs> that yip 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 sound yeah so. and spins in circles jumps on yeah. our brand new couch like acts like a fool so she definitely alerts us to to things going on uh it definitely alerts us when the fedex truck's coming or the yeah. amazon truck's coming for sure the amazon truck, yeah. <laughs> she'll see it there's, if you look at our front door or in our front windows you can see cars going down there's a road down there and you can see cars going down that road and when she sees the amazon truck or the FedEx truck or any anything like that. She knows it's most likely gonna come down our private road and she just starts spinning in circles and going crazy. She really is like, she's different. Yeah. She's different than any dog we've ever owned. For sure. She's high strung. She's really not very nice. She's very moody. Look at her over there now. The, the chickens were over there drinking. And she just she went them. She went over there and ran them all off because she, she wanted some water. She's real moody. Yeah, moody's a good word. Yeah. She only is really loyal to us. That's it. Yeah. Some of it is her history when she was a puppy. Yeah. Some of it. Some of it is just. I think Lacey's are just loyal to certain people. A lot of cattle dogs I've that I've had and been around are very uh, usually have one or two people that they're loyal to and the rest of the people they don't really care about. Skylar. <laughs> you talk about her tail, we think she got Yeah, it may got broke, broke when, when she's a puppy because it's got a little thing and look, she's going right back. <laughs> post up. Here we yeah. are. On my post. <laughs> 
Yeah, I wonder if any of our other, if our subscribers have blue, blue lacies. I wonder what yeah. their temperament is. I mean, of course, we're on those blue lacy pages on Facebook, but I'm just curious how, you know, like the good thing about her is her nose. It really is because if, if somebody comes over and she doesn't know them, especially the kids with their friends, yeah. if she, rem she remembers their smell and I think she's like, oh, okay, they didn't hurt me, then she's okay with them. But until you, she knows, a lot of times she'll just, if like the boys have friends over, we send her to Sarah's room. Yeah, if she doesn't know them, just she to be nervous safe. Yeah. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be intentional. She would just be protecting herself and that would be extremely bad if something yeah. were to happen. So we, we know her temperament and we try to respect that for her and help her out and put her up. Did you, are you done? You don't got a lot of hitch in your giddy up anymore. She over here, no one else is. I don't know. While we were talking, we had a escapee. That's Queen Bee right there. Yeah, she's right there. Yeah, she's right there. Yeah, she's right there. Yeah, she's right there. She is head of the herd. Mm. Flock. Head of the flock. She's not cattle. Head of the flock. That's qu that is. Look, Skylar doesn't. Skylar knows she's not supposed to be out. That is big red. She is the one that has killed many a pullets that we've put in there with right. her. She'll go. Go back up. Get her, Skylar. Get her, Skylar. Skylar, come here. You can't. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. That's funny. So what do you think about reeds? fish pond I don't know he's already been, he's watching videos and he's planning that he wants a giant one like Houston has or so I don't know I've learned with boys their interests are not always they're not long-lived no they are long no they're not long-lived okay. so next month this will be a distant maybe month. tell them what, what Reed found underneath his bed the other day a Tupperware full of worms that he had forgotten about. <laughs> he came out and he goes, Mom, I forgot I had these under my bed. I was like, what? It's a Tupperware full of worms. And he goes, they had babies. Like, at first I was confused why we had worms in the house under our bed, but. <laughs> and they're still on the kitchen table now. Yeah, he needs to bring them out and put them in his, the worm farm. I don't, I, with Reed, he's very much like you. He has many interests. He can't just hone in on one. I mean, baseball, of course, but like outdoor stuff, and it's not hurting anything. Yeah. It really is not. As mm. long as he keeps it up and does what he's supposed to do, then I don't yeah, care. That was I really, deal. truly don't care. Thank you all for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when we put out more videos. You didn't say it right. <clears throat> Notificated. Notificated? Yep. That's our word in the house now. Uh, somebody asked, for our merch line for coffee mugs yeah. and i put one in i built one and put it in the merch line last night also a tumbler in there so oh, i didn't know that yeah so go check out our merch we got coffee mugs tumblers and sure. shirts still yep. working yeah we're just trying anybody who's bought any of our merchandise can y'all give us feedback on what you think there have been a few people okay yeah. some are loyal very very loyal subscribers have so yeah so and they've said good things. So. I just wonder, like, the quality, if they're happy with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think uh, there's several. This is a third-party company. All we do is go in there and upload our logo. And then when you guys go and buy it, we have nothing to do with it. They ship it. Um, they, they, they pull it from their shelves. They put it in an envelope. They ship it to you. And we have nothing to do with that. And we basically get a really small percentage of it. And we let them do all the work so it's more just about you know we're not making any really anything to speak of off of it more than just it's an easy way to get you guys merchandise and that's what y'all wanted so because as much as we would love to be able to have our own merchandise yes. we just do not have yeah. the time or the yeah. space and there was somebody commented recently like why don't you guys you know get your own shirts printed off and, and kind of it sounded like they were saying to do very similar to like what arm family's doing yeah. and 
you know, if we get to that size, yeah. that may be a possibility. But right now, just financially, it's just a that's a very large investment because you have to buy that stuff in very big bulk to get a, a deal for it. And you know, we just don't want to make that investment right now. So letting this company do all the work for us and us only getting a little bit is worth it for right now until we get the ball rolling. And if y'all keep buying it and we keep, you know, kind of keep getting that going, then at some point we may do that. We may turn our little shop here into Shanna's workshop. Sarah, not Shanna. Why? Shanna's got three kids. Well. Shanna's been toting around three kids, so Sarah is more artistic and yeah. she's 16 and doesn't have a job. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I think all Arms Family does is they have somebody print the shirts off in, in very, very big bulk and they have them shipped to their house and then they repackage them and send them out individually. Yeah with their logos I don't know. and stuff. We could so. probably do something like yeah. that eventually. So I'm hungry. Alright, we'll eat breakfast. We'll see y'all later. Bye.